Hi everyone, welcome back to training time. Today is going to be Kiss Mary <gasps> themed. I don't know what I'm gonna say though to make this more appropriate. Let's ask Edna. I was asking people in a spam on my live what I should do. Oh, I didn't actually realize this belt's braided. I was asking them what I should title it instead of Kiss Mary, you know what I mean. They gave me a bunch of ideas like Kiss Mary Glue Factory, stuff like that. I will show on the screen what I told you guys to submit and maybe it'll be more clear, but I'm training plasma. If you really don't like somebody, you go up to them like this and then all of a sudden you can change yourself to... It's the Appaloosa model and so the wraps do not go down over the fetlocks and that bothers me so much, but this is what matches with my outfit currently, even though I don't have any brown on my character, but whatever. I don't have any brown on my character. The first submission says Steve, James, and Jasper. So it's pretty clear I would marry Jasper, kiss Steve, and Ooh. James. This one's about my horses, Dolores, Lupita, and Spirit. I would kiss Lupita. I would marry Dolores. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Ooh. Spirit. Next is Anastasia, Courtney, and Jasper. Well, I would marry Jasper, first of all. What would I do about Courtney and Anastasia? Okay, I would kill Anastasia and I would kiss Courtney. That should have been more obvious, honestly. The blue Nixie, the red Nixie, and the purple Nixie. Okay, I would marry the purple Nixie. I would kiss the red Nixie. I would kiss Ooh. the blue Nixie. The purple one I would obviously marry because I have that one. That's the only one I kept. And then the red one was my second favorite. Roleplay vids, update vids, or training vids. I would marry the training videos because these are my favorite to do. And then update videos, kiss those. And then Ooh. the roleplay videos. Just because I have not done a roleplay video in no joke. It's been like two and a half years now. Hang on, let me count on my fingers. Okay, it's been two years and three months. I actually tried. I was going to make one and that's why I'm kind of in this outfit and then I ended up not making it. I have all the scripts written. It's just I don't actually do it. There are people on YouTube who make really nice realistic videos. You just have to kind of seek them out. You know what I mean? Oh god. Okay, the next one says old Silverglade village ducks, demon squirrel things. Do you mean the ones that are sold in Firgrove? I had to buy those when I made that buying all the pets video. That was actually the biggest mistake of my life. Ayla's fox thing. Okay, I'm gonna look it up on my phone right now, actually. I looked it up and I don't even think it's that scary. I don't know. Maybe you're talking about something else, but I think I would kiss them because the old Silver Glade Village ducks, oh my gosh, they were actually really cute. And then the demon squirrel things, no, they can just leave. The next one says, the Lippy's Neck, the Giant Magic Horses, and Mayor Peanut. I would kiss the Giant Magic Horses, I would marry the Lippy's Neck, and I would kill Mayor Peanut because- Oh, what am I- See, this is why I hate orienteering, okay? The next one says, Gen 3 Frisian, Gen 2 Frisian, and Gen 1 Frisian. This is a good one. This is a really good one. I would say I would kiss the Gen 1 Frisian, marry the Gen 2 Frisian, and then Ooh. the Gen 3 Frisian. The next one says training dailies and side quests. From what I've been given here, I would have to marry training because there's just something about it where you can just relax and listen to music and do the stuff you're familiar with. I don't know. There's just something about it. And then dailies? Oh, Ooh. cool dailies. I can't. The next one says, star coins, your big shillings, items you get gifted at the end of a quest. Okay, so I'm assuming you mean all of these things are what you would want to get as a reward, basically. I would obviously marry star coins. If you could get star coins as like a reward for something, that would be amazing, but you can't. I would kiss the items you get gifted at the end of a quest because you can actually sell a lot of those for big Jorvik shillings. Like for example, Sabine's jacket, this might be controversial, but I sold Sabine's outfit because I was like, um, I'm never gonna wear this actually. So wait, why'd I do that race? 
I didn't even want to keep it for memories. I was like, this is worth so many shillings. I'm going to buy something else. And then I would keep the Yorvik shillings. The next one says dressage, jumping, and Western. Okay, I guess I'll answer it both real life and Star Stable because the answers are completely different. Well, kind of. In Star Stable, I would say Mary jumping, kiss dressage, and kill Western. But in real life, I would marry jumping, I would kiss Western, and then massage. Blacks, bee balm, or jute. Do I have all three in my inventory right now? Hang on. I like all of them just because they're easy to find. So bee balm, it's funny because I actually went to a botanical garden today and saw bee balm in real life. I guess I'll marry bee balm because it looks pretty. Kiss flax because it also looks kind of pretty. And then jute because... I don't know, I don't really care about jute and I always get it all the time. Why can I have such opinions about plants? Like, they're just, like, plants in this game. Bee balm's right here and I just said I would marry bee balm. See, it was meant to be. The next one says, The April Fool's car, the horses where none of the textures are in the right place, and Darko. Very random, but I like it. I would marry the April Fool's car. Oh my goodness. I have an obsession with that April Fool's car. I would kiss the horses where none of the textures are in the right place because it is kind of funny. And then I would kill Darko because I don't even appreciate that Darko is in the storyline. I think he's completely unnecessary and he just makes everything worse. The next one says, anybody in Starshine? Starshine Ranch? Is that what you mean? Steve and that pick me Madison. I think I'm gonna marry Steve. Where am I? Okay, where am I actually going? I'm gonna kiss that pick me Madison because, you know, even though she's a pick me, it's just, it makes things interesting in the game. You know, I'm pretty sure she decided to jump off the boat instead of getting pushed off the boat. I feel kind of bad, but it was funny. I honestly don't even care about anybody at Starshine Ranch. I care about the animals, okay? And they give you a lot of XP, so it's great. The next one says, Bibble, Gibby, or Spike. So these are some of my horses. Mary, Bibble. I would kiss Gibby. And I would kill Spike. Just because the Shinkoteague ponies, I don't click with them that well. I just hate the confirmation. Spike is my favorite Shinkoteague because... He has a spike on him, that's why his name is Spike. And so, wait, stop, there's a, the next one even has emojis, I love it. It says Fripp, Diggory, or Beatrix. Fripp would not like that emoji though because Fripp says that he is a cosmic being and not a squirrel or a chipmunk or whatever. Diggory, I'm scared of monkeys. I can't do monkeys. Hello? Dude. You can't bring anything that smells bad in here. Anyway, I have a giant cup of chocolate milk and Lydia's bringing in breadsticks and cheese. The next one says, the Fort Pinta Disco Guard, James, Mayor Peanut. So here we are back with Mayor Peanut and James. So I would marry the Fort Pinta Disco Guard. The Fort Pinta Disco Guard really is the best. Like, remember the dog quest? Is that still a quest with him where you get the ripped t-shirt afterward oh my gosh i would kiss mayor peanut and kill james the next one says idris justin moreland idris's little clown friend what is the clown friend's name i forget what it what his name is i'll marry the little clown friend because if the little clown friend can put up with somebody like idris clearly he is a solid justin moreland i would kiss just because He's pretty greasy, but the thing is, I would not kiss Idris. That's just... The next one says, Christmas update, Halloween update, Valentine's update. Is this for the last year or just in general? I'm going to answer in general just because I get all the years mixed up because I've been playing a long time. I always enjoy the Christmas update the most. There was one Valentine's Day year that I rage quit. All I know was we were picking so many berries. 
out of Greendale. It was an excessive amount of berries and I could not do it. This was years ago. I could not handle it anymore. And even though it gave you player XP, holidays give you player XP. This level system is broken and that's why I'm level 23 right now. And that's why there's people at such high levels and then other people finish the game and then they're like, wait, why didn't I get to this point? I actually cried. Some Valentine's Day updates have been really fun. Like, I remember there was that one Valentine's Day update. I remember there being, like, a nice outfit. I remember having so much fun racing with my friends. That's why I'm so torn. Oh, God. I have, like, 25... <gasps> I'm, like, speechless right now. I'm going to kiss the Halloween update and the Valentine's Day update. Just because even though I haven't really... Did it even give me the XP for finishing that? I hope it did. It better have. The next one is about my personal horses. Lacey, Koala, and Bibble. I would marry Lacey. I would kiss Bibble and I would kill Koala. Oh goodness. The next ones are holidays again. Halloween, Christmas, or equestrian festival. Merry Christmas, kiss the equestrian festival, and kill Halloween. The next one says lagging, crashing into a jump, or getting stuck in random objects. These are all such bad pet peeves, I don't even know what to say at this point. Help Ooh. them all. I'm gonna marry crashing into a jump, kiss lagging, Ooh. getting stuck in random objects, because then you have to call for pickup. <laughs> Captain Waterloo is the bouncer. We're gonna take a great- ooh. That is very concerning, actually. Um, I should not have touched that. James's dad, who is automatically- wait, what? Alex and James, they might be half-siblings and not even know it. Wait, did I even do the race here? Hang on, did I do the Fort Pinta race? I didn't even- <laughs> The next one says, SSO, Minecraft, and Alicia Online. This one has to do with currently how I feel, okay? I haven't played Minecraft in a long time. Star Stable is actually my OG game. Minecraft, surprisingly, even though it's older, I wasn't into it for the longest time until I started doing horsey stuff on it and I haven't been on it in years now. I would say marry SSO, even though that sounds terrible because I'm like, there's certain things in SSO but just because you have a marriage doesn't mean it's a good marriage, so. And then I'm gonna kiss Alicia online. I have been on Alicia recently. I keep breeding horses. I would have to kill Ooh. Minecraft, which sounds terrible because Minecraft, oh my gosh, it's a big part of my childhood. For the purpose of this video, that's what I have to say. The next one says, fantasy horses, Jorvik wilds, and Finn horses. I would marry the Finn horses. I think they're adorable. And then I would kiss the fantasy horses. I would kill the Jorvik wild body horses. I just can't do it. I have one Jorvik wild Hazel and Hazel is the one that my sister has actually. I did a training time with her and I was like, I'm going to train this horse even though I don't really like this horse. My sister was like, that's my favorite horse. And I was like, oh geez. The next one says Maddie, Lydia, and Kate. What do you expect me to say? You can't put somebody who's a family member in your kiss Mary video. Jorvik City, Paddock Island, Jasper's Farm. So because Jorvik City is really pretty actually, I would have to say marry Jorvik City. I'm gonna say Jasper's Farm, put Jasper somewhere else actually, kiss Paddock Island because Paddock Island, it has a nice view and then there, there's the two different levels of it a jumping arena. The next one says American paint horse, American quarter horse, Appaloosa. This is a really hard one. I think I'm gonna kiss the quarter horses. Oh god, no. We're talking about gen 3 everything here, okay? Just to make things clear. The thing is I bought one gen 3 American paint I did buy a bunch of quarter horses. The quarter horses have a really nice special move. They are the ultimate <laughs> Western horse. And I bought multiple of them, so I should say marry them, okay? Then technically I have multiple Appaloosas because this is the Appaloosa body. It's just they move terribly. They're not photogenic because look, basically every gate. Their ears are back. 
so why would I marry them? And then the paint horses, I only got koala and I don't even like her anymore. So what am I supposed to say? Kill them all? I don't know. I'm skipping. Someone else can weigh in in the comments. The next one says boots, pumpkin, and snowball. Pumpkin is already dead. I would marry snowball because he's a dude and he's a very lovable dude and i would kiss boots the next one says saddle pads tops accessories and then they specified for accessories bows leg wraps pets saddle bags etc i would have to marry tops because you can't really why would i go around without a top you know what i mean kiss the saddle pads because i love saddle pads accessories even though i would miss edna the cat that i'm riding no <laughs> that came out wrong the next one says free horse make a horse have access to files you could technically have access to the game files if you really tried that's why there's spoiler accounts we'll have access to the files because i don't really want access to the files i would kiss free horse why is lydia called what are you doing? I would have to say marry make a horse because I would love to make a custom horse. You know, being able to choose characteristics, physical appearance. So that is the last one. I just need to finish this race. That is the end of this training time. Thanks for watching. Bye.